And now we are joined by Bellator lightweight Manny Muro as he faces Usman Nurmagomedov at Bellator 263 on July 31st. Manny, entering the biggest fight of your career, uh, fighting on one of the, the main card of Bellator 263, is one of the biggest MA events of the year. Is it excitement or nerves ahead of your 18th profession, oh, 19th professional fight? Uh, it's man, you know, it's it's a little bit. It, I would sit here and be a liar if I was just, you know, the thing about me is I'm very transparent because, like, I feel like my story can help the younger guys. And uh, it's it's a little bit, you know, it's got some nerves to it, but I, but I embrace it. I'm here, I'm I'd probably have to say I'm like 90% excited and just like 10% kind of nervous because like just all the pomp and circumstance you know i've did more interviews in in the past couple of days than i've did my whole career you know <laughs> but but it's been amazing because like man brother uh, as a young martial artist man i i dreamt about this moment i dreamt about it i remember when i first started just getting into it and and had dreams and aspirations and i remember you wanted to fight at the forum you know where the lakers played where muhammad ali fought at on Showtime, like people like Canelo and Floyd Mayweather, things like this. So, like for me, I'm just solely living in the moment. But like this, you know, my opponent, you know, he's worked hard. I've worked hard. You know, we're both going to be prepared. You know, and it, it's just, it's another fight, man. You know what I mean? People have have built this guy up to be like, like he's some superhuman. You know what I'm saying? Like, and for me, he's just a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Time like we do, you know, he he bleeds, he sweats. You know what I mean? Like, there's, like, it's, yes, he's got a big name. You know, his cousin is, is one of the greatest ever. Brother, it's just another fight, you know? How's was the training camp been going ahead of this fight? Because it is a normal fight, really. But this is the biggest fight of your career. Have you put more time into it, or has anything changed from your usual training camps? Man, uh, you know, I, I usually come out here for so with the the higher level of my fights, the opportunities that I've had, uh, I I usually spend more time here at Jackson Wink, and I've been coming here for gosh, I want to say like five or six years. This is my tenth fight camp here, and usually when I was local fights, it would come out here two, three weeks, you know, maybe a month. But this one I did two months, you know, from the time I signed the dotted line, I was like, man, this is the fight that's going to put me on the map. This is the fight that, that's going to take me to that next level. And I've just invested everything, bro, everything. I'm talking about from my nutrition to my training sessions. I'm training five times a day, you know what I mean? Getting my rest, working with the highest level coaches, I, I, I wasted no opportunity because, you know, like I said, I understand the, the magnitude of this uh, opportunity and uh, I just want to make the most of it. You know, I don't want to squander any opportunity because like, you know, I'm at that point in my career to where, uh, you know, it's now, it's now, now's the moment, you know. Obviously this is going to be your full fight in Bellator. Uh, you talk about signing on the dotted line about two months ago. What was your reaction like at the time? Did you expect getting that big name next or were you expecting, because it was, I believe this is your second fight on your new contract, were you expecting maybe in your third fight? Man, you know, uh, I, I, the last two fights, I had been actually calling out Brent Primus and, and I did that because I was like, I want to challenge myself. You know, I kind of like, I'm a uh, old school martial artist. Have you ever seen that movie like Bloodsport? You know how like like we want to test ourselves against the best in the world because I want to challenge myself as a martial artist, and and that's how it was. And I, they offered me the fight in January, and I had COVID, and so I had to turn it down. And then they offered me it for April, and I had just come off a broken foot in training, and so again I couldn't turn it down. And I came back after my uh, my surgery and everything like that, and I was like, hey, I'll be ready at the end of July. And they said, hey. We want you to fight Usman. <laughs> and I was like, man, it's, I'm going to have to fight this guy. You know what I mean? For some reason, they want me to fight him. I was like, so I've kind of been in this situation and early in my career as a pro that's where I had to cross this road. You know, like for some reason, Bellator wanted me to fight him. And I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm, 
under contract with the company. So I said, man, if I welcome all the challenge, you know, I, I welcome all the challenge because like I've realized with my last couple competitions that I am world-class martial artist and I hope, hope on their end they're not bypassing me because that first thing that they do because I I I see I be, I believe in the hard work and the journey that I've took you know my my record might not be the prettiest like some others brother but I am a talented martial artist uh multi-fight deal sign after but before your last fight free and and bell tour now how would you describe your experience in Bellator so far in one word amazing 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 I mean amazing they take care of me financially uh they take care of my team man I I it's it's an honor to be to be with that promotion brother you know uh of course you know everybody wants to fight for the UFC but but honestly like if I was fighting for them I'd probably make less money than I do right now so you know they're they're, they're taking care of me man and, and I shout out to uh Mr. Rich Chow you know Scott Coker Mike Kogan all them guys man they're amazing top class top class man for any fighter that's uh, interested man uh Bellator the promotion Bellator is world class by far looking at your opponent it's fair to say that you'd probably be an underdog going into this, looking at the reputation. The betting odds have not obviously came out yet. But oh, yeah. you, in your last two fights, you have been a big underdog. And you've obviously came out on top on both of those. Do you think your experience in both of those fights will help you going into this one, knowing that you'll be an underdog once again? Oh, 100%. 100%. Because, you know, like the, the, what I've started, i kind of like just been, you know, uh, going over it you know, kind of playing in my mind how things were. And that Nick Newell fight, brother, you know, I was 10 and six versus uh, 16 and two, his first fight on his contract, you know, like I think I was a bigger underdog in that fight than, than this one, you know, it was the same type of deal. Nick Newell's got a huge fan base, you know, uh, people counted me out. I think I was like a, uh, plus 700 underdog. Like it was crazy. Some kind of like, unrealistic number man and, and I dug deep and I just showed the dog that I have the thing is that for me like people and of course you know he's got a really solid record and people see my record and it's not as shiny as the others but the thing is that man I've been in this game for a long time I've I've fought really high quality people you know uh, a few years back when I was on the local circuit, I was, uh, I held three belts in my state, you know, so I'm, I'm not fighting bums, you know, I'm not fighting slouches. I've been in there and, and, and picked up a lot of things. I think my experience is what's going to show out the most. Yeah. And you talk about your experience, talk about your record. Obviously it's not as shiny, but in a way that's an advantage to you because you've been through um, losses and learned from those. And also you have the wins in your belt as well. So do you think in a way, your losses is an advantage over what Usman has in a shiny record. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because the thing is no pressure, you know, people are counting me out. They're expecting me to lose. So all I have to do is go out there and fight my ass off and shock the world. You know, I, I remember I was undefeated. I think it was like four and O or five and O at one point. And it's just like, a, it's a, it's something cerebral about trying to hold on to that zero. You know, you, you're just doing enough to just like just to get your hand raised. And it's just like I'm going to go out there and I'm going to fight and, and be free and, and just let it all hang out. You know, there's no there, there's no there's no you know, I've, man, I've been knocked out in fights. I've been submitted. I've I've fought on the biggest stage. You know, uh, uh, that Nick Newell fight was uh, I fought against Nick Newell in Connecticut, his home state you know, in front of like five to 10,000 people, you know, I remember getting booed crazy, brother. Like I'm talking about walking out and just smiling and just being like, man, this is a journey. Like this is a, something I'm going to tell my grandkids, you know, I'm going to share these stories when I'm old and gray and, and wrinkly, but like, man, like it's, I think the experience is what showed me, you know, being in these battles. I, I looked it up the other day, dog. And I think I've had like 70 rounds in my career. 
you think about that's a lot of rounds, you know, that's a lot of experience, you know, like that's a lot of rounds, man. And so I've, I've been, I've, I've just weathered the storm and, and, and I think wholeheartedly that, that me taking those losses and everything like that, I, how I feel about it is I think Usman's going to have an amazing career. I think he's going to go on to do amazing things in the future. Uh, but right now, this is my moment. This is my moment to take off. You know, I'm going to use this, this platform to, to skyrocket, to be a household name and to where hopefully one day, maybe I'll be the favorite on these cards. You know what I mean? And looking at, if you, if you do win the fight, how do you feel like, um, being a name like Usman Nurmagomedov will boost your, um, following and, and, and everything really, you know, financially also, and your social media following in terms of fans as well. How do you feel it'll boost you? Oh man, it's been crazy. It's been, I've, I've felt the impact already, brother. You know, uh, man, it's, I've, I've had amazing support from, from people that, uh, that, that follow him, you know, uh, I've had some trolls, you know what I mean? Like kind of message me silly stuff, but I, man, I don't care about that, you know, sticks and stones, you know what I mean? But, uh, man, I felt the impact from it already. And, and I think, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. My big deal right now is that at this point in my career, I just don't want to fight for a promotion. I just don't want to be a name on the roster. I want to fight at the highest level, and I want to fight for that Bellator title. And I asked for a quality opponent, and Bellator was like, "All right, here you go." You know what I mean? Like this, the, you want a, you want a big name, so here it is. And so they gave it to me, and I think I I should crack the top ten in the rankings, you know, after I win this fight, I, I should crack the top 10. You know what I mean? Like I, I truly believe that man. Like he's, he, he's, a, he's a damn good fighter. I'm not taking anything away from him, you know? And have you watched his belt or debut? Um, and if so, what did you make of it and his performance in that? I did. I actually watched it live because in the back of my mind, you know, uh, I remember sitting down at home. It was me and my wife and, I remember uh, sitting there watching it and just kind of having an eye, you know, because I'd never seen this guy really too much before. And I seen him fight and a uh, really smooth kicker, really comfortable on his feet, you know, doesn't show, he doesn't fight on emotion, you know, he did. And, and that's a quality, you know, that a lot of fighters don't, don't really have. And uh, he's just always looking for those kicks. You know, he's throwing spinning heel kicks, snap kicks, uh, high kicks to your head. You know, he's trying to get a knockout. And the thing is, is that, man, like, uh, I, I, I move forward. You know, my fighting style, anybody who knows me, I just move forward. I'm not much to back up very much. I don't know. I think it's just the Native American me, you know, that warrior, that, that Mexican fighting style. You know, like, I, you know, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out on my shield. You know, I think there's something valiant about it. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there and try to dance around his butt out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm out there to to be as violent as possible, and I think it's gonna man. I, I, like I watch watch that night, brother. You're gonna see me with a big smile on my face because I this is gonna be one of those moments where like I rise to the occasion and live in the moment, man. You know, I'm not going to crumble underneath the pressure or anything. I'm, I'm just going to live in the moment, man. Like, I'm just going to go out there. You know, I might get hit in the face, and I'm just going to sit there and smile. It's all going to be good. Without giving away your game plan, looking, you, you point out his, um, his kicks, and they're one of the best elements of his game. Have you kind of changed how you typically fight to, to, to uh, suit how you believe you could defeat him as a fighter? No, no, not at all. Not, not at all, not at all, because what, what I do best, um, what I do best is I'm just a, a, a grinder. I'm just a, a, a deep water type of guy. I'm just going to push a, a hard pace from the time, from the time the bell rings, I'm going to be out there 150 miles per hour. And, you know, I can't, I can't worry. You know, of course you want to study, you want to see your opponent's tendencies and do things like that. But if I sit there and I focus on my opponent, then I give him too much credit. That's happened in the past in my career. And, and I've learned from that mistake, you know what I mean? Kind of 
you know, wherever the fight goes, whether it be clinch, whether it be striking, whether it be grappling, anything like that, I'm just going to be trying to find ways to strike and, and make him bleed and try to, you know, be as violent as possible because that's the game we're in. You know what I mean? Like I have to be violent for 15 minutes and that's my mentality. I, I thoroughly think this fight is going to go all three rounds, all three rounds. There's, I'm not a quitter. He's not a quitter. And it's just going to be, it's going to be like, I, I, here's, here's my prediction, brother. I think we're going to get fight of the night. A wholeheartedly. I think we're going to get fight of the night because like, I, he's a dog. I'm a dog, man. You know, you see when you put two pit bulls and, you know, right there by each other, man, it, it's just, it's crazy. And I think that's, what's going to happen come fight night. We'll get into your official prediction for the fight in a little bit, but, uh, his manager, Ali Abdelaziz, Abdelaziz, described him as a better version of Khabib. Is that what you're expecting to face? No, no. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe that, man. And that's just me being honest because, like, of course he's supposed to say that. He, he, that's his manager, you know what I'm saying? Like, like they're trying to promote him and, and, and do these type of things. Man, there's only one Khabib in this world, you know what I'm saying? Like, like and for me... Is that like I think about yeah that's his cousin but if you went and pulled my cousin off the street he's not gonna fight like me you know what I'm saying like like like, like, like let's just be honest you know Michael Jordan's cousin they're not gonna hoop like Michael Jordan you know what I'm saying Khabib is is a one in a lifetime type deal and people see his last name you know what I'm saying they see his record twelve and zero and people are like getting gassed up and that man like uh, it's it's just silly the casual that's why the casual fans. Like Bellator tagged me the other day and uh, they put him and everybody was like, Usman's going to smash Manny, this and that. And it's because they don't even know me. You know what I mean? Like they don't, they don't know me. They see this dude's last name and they see that he's Kendall. That's what everybody said. Everybody's like, the first thing they say, they're like, who's Usman Nurmagomedov? And they're like, oh, it's Khabib's cousin. They're like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? It's like, like, man, I... I, I, I don't care about that, bro. Of course they're going to say that, man. Like, they're, they're hyping it up, you know what I'm saying? But but I, I guarantee, you know, my managers are going to gas me up, too. You know what I'm saying? They want to promote me. So, like, man, I, 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 I don't know. I don't try to fall into the hype. Really. My, here's my thing, brother, about me. And this isn't me on a facade or anything. I feel like my best attributes that God has given me is he made me very mentally tough. And that accounts for a lot. My spirit is strong. My mind is strong. Like, I think that's where all that experience, you know what I mean? Like I've been through these ups and downs, man. Like I fought main event. I fought co-main event. I've been on access TV legacy, all this stuff. I fought for Bellator main card. You know what I mean? Like this is my fourth fight in Bellator and it's his second. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 man, can I not get no credit? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I'm, I, I'm talented too. <laughs> Obviously your self-belief and your mental toughness is one of you did, um, your, you know, talents. What, what advantages do you feel like you hold over Usman that he necessarily doesn't have? I think, I think my cardio, I think if I could put it on just, and I'll, and I'll say that to anybody, I, man, brother, my cardio, you know, me being a native American, I feel like we're, we're built a little different. You know, I feel like, uh, endurance has just, I was a cross country and track and field runner as a young, young man. And man, I can just go out there in deep waters and just grind, you know, like, and, and I've seen it in my last couple, uh, fights, man, like to where people have faded that second and third round, you can just feel them just wilt, you know what I'm saying? To where I'm turning it up. You can just feel them wilt, man. And, and, Man, I just feel like, I mean, I'm out here at elevation. I already have good cardio and you brought me out here to elevation and now I'm about to go fight at sea level. Oh my gosh, brother. I'll probably be able to go like 10 rounds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I, I clearly think that, that my endurance, you know, uh, is going to be one of the hugest facts, factors that, that and the experience, you know, you know, I'm, I might have uh, six losses on my career, you know, but like you said, like, this is going to be almost my 20th professional fight. And it's crazy because like, I remember like just having a couple and now when people hear my record, they're like, damn, man, you got a lot of fights. You know what I mean? 
I've been in the game for a little bit, so I think those would probably be some of my best attributes. And is there any kind of like fear factor for you knowing you're facing a product of the Nimaga Metal family and Khabib's cousin in a way? Is there any kind of fear for the name and, and, and rather than who you're actually facing? No, no, not at all, man. Because for me, I feel like they're very respectful people. I feel like they're uh, martial artists. And, and like I said, man, I look forward to the challenge, you know, to, to, to be considered one of the greats or to be considered one of the top people, you have to fight these type of people. You know what I mean? Like you have to fight these type of people. And I look forward to it as a challenge, man. And the thing I've noticed about him is that like people I've seen, like with Nick Newell, I seen this with his past fights and I seen people with, with, with Usman is that people go in there defeated already. They're going in there to not lose instead of to win the fight. And that's why I came out victorious with Nick Newell. That's why I came out victorious in my last fight. And that's why I'm going to come out victorious to this one. I'm not going to – I'm not going in there to be like, oh, Khabib's not fighting with him. You know what I'm saying? Khabib's going to be in his corner, but he's not out there fighting with him. He's going to be coaching him. But in my corner, I got uh, Brandon Gibson. I got Harry St. Ledger. You know what I mean? Uh, Coach Gibson's fought – or he's cornered Carlos Condit. God, Cowboy Cerrone, John Jones, you know what I mean? Like, he's a championship coach as well, you know? And so, like, I have amazing people. You know, Coach Harry St. Ledger is a black belt in judo and jiu-jitsu. You know, he, uh, man, he's cornered some of the highest level people too. So, like, you know, like, man, I got amazing people in my corner, you know, and, and they're not just going to corner just bums, you know what I mean? They believe in me. They believe in my path. What personally would it mean for you on July 31st to take down the hype train of Usman and, and put your name out there on the global stage like Belts or 263? Ah, uh, man, it, it, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to, like I said, man, I've, I've dreamt about these moments. Um, I've tried to, I've tried, my goal was always to inspire the young Native American people where I'm from in Southwest Oklahoma and just all over the United States. Because as Native Americans, we really role model. Uh, we have bad negative personas over us, you know, alcoholics, drug addicts, you know, poverty, these type of things. And so for me, my goal is to inspire the next generation and to use this platform to testify about what Jesus Christ has done in my life. You know, I look out there looking at this as my David and Goliath moment, you know, like, 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 He's got a big name. You know, people are counting me out, but my faith is going to carry me through. I, I truly believe like that's that's my faith is is what gives me confidence because uh, I truly believe in the journey that I've been on. And it's going to man, it's going to be it's going to change my life. You know what I mean? It really is. It's going to change my life for the better, man. People are going to know who I am uh, financially. I can take care of my family better you know, and I can just continue to, to keep walking towards that, that Bellator title, you know, that's the goal. And finally, what is your prediction for this fight? You've already predicted a fight of the night, uh, bonus coming your way. Um, what, what, what's your pred official prediction for how you're going to defeat Usman Nurmagomedov? <laughs> it, it's funny because like, I always say this and I am going to win a unanimous decision <laughs> 15, 15 minutes, unanimous decision, man. It's, it's, it's not, you know, it, people always want to hear, oh, I'm going to knock him out the second. We're going to be bloody. We're going to both be battered. It's going to be 15 minutes to where afterwards we shake each other's hand and, man, we'll have walked away with a ton of respect for each other. And just before I let you go, I just wanted to get your opinion on this. Do you feel like if the fight was very close in a way and around uh, one round was particularly very close and it's very hard to kind of like lean to one of the other, do you feel like him being kind of a bigger name in Bellator would, it would make the judges kind of, and his name and his Nurmagomedov name would favour the judges to choose him over you for the actual round winner? Do you feel like that would, would happen? No, no, because, and the reason I say that is because, like, me and Nick Newell's fight was very close, hmm. and and he and we fought in Connecticut, and like, like, he was, like, an hour away from that place, and they actually gave me the nod, you know, yeah. so, like, I think if you go out there and you make a stamp, you know, and, and you push, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, 
you know, each fight is different, but no, I don't, I don't believe that, man. I, I'm going out there to win wholeheartedly. And I think people, the more and more people see me, they're going to realize how much of a talent I am, you know? Well, thank you very much for your time and all the best in your July 31st fight against Usman. (laughs) I appreciate it, brother, man. Hey, you got an awesome accent too, man. I'm digging that. You know what I'm saying? And you. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, brother. Not sure what accent it is, but it's it's sick. (laughs) 